Rightio, just a quick uh, terraplane update. Did a day trip today to Adelaide. And um, as you can see, we got all the parts we need. So the old terraplane is uh, looking like coming back to life sooner than uh, sooner than later. So I'll just show you the parts. Right, so I grabbed a spare timing gear just because, because it was cheap, 20 bucks. Um, dizzy that's not seized, got a little cap, rotor button, um, it has got an insulator missing here but we can uh, use stuff off of the old dizzy, full set of valves, like I said we only needed a few but um, we've got a full set there now so we can um, pick and choose the best. Cut the spare collets. Got an oil pipe that we damaged. Accidentally damaged. Got three pistons. I grabbed just about all the rings he had. Three um, lifter bosses, because the ones that we got are broken here. So one of the tricks, um, the old fella told me was if you need to resurface these lifters you get an old piston which we have you insert the lifter into the piston which is a real nice fit and you drill and tap the thread here to lock that in place. Then you stick the piston in the lathe. You obviously put one on either side, one lifter on either side. Put the piston in the lathe, and then you set up a small uh, Dremel with a grinding stone in your, um, in your tool rest. And then you slowly, um, you know, Looking at that, something like that would probably take half an hour to slowly sneak up on the lathe to resurface that. So that's a little trick we learned today. We've also picked up a set of Holden Grey 132 pistons. And surprisingly, um, they fit in the bore pretty good. Also, the gudgeon pin is spot on. Like... It is the same size as a terraplane. Um, it is a little bit higher on the top, so some might have to be machined off of here. So we, um, yeah, we've gone from no pistons to, um, yeah, either using this set or just replacing the um, damaged ones. So um, I do believe Pat, the, um, owner of the engine has ordered new rings so there's a good chance we might go with these holden ones so time will tell all right i'll just show you a quick video of uh when we're in adelaide in and around old man's shed um i didn't take too much um footage because you know i was in someone else's property so I just took a quick um, couple of videos. He's got a fair bit of gear, so he's selling stuff um, and cheap, so yeah, to fund his projects. So, all right, here's a quick video of um, us in Adelaide.
Okay, so if you haven't worked it out yet, we're just gonna piece this engine back together. Um, the bores are sad, but we're just gonna piece it together for now, get it running. And um, you know, something in the future might happen. We might um, find um, more pistons and sleeves and whatnot. So for now, we're just gonna um, get it back together probably be I oh, still might be two or three months away but um, we're a lot closer now than uh, what I was originally expecting so yeah just a quick update cheers for watching